This is Canvas of Learning and today we are talking about moral dilemmas. You surely would have encountered the famous hen's dilemma in which there is a woman on her deathbed waiting for a particular drug that can save her life. But that drug is only available with one druggist who has recently discovered this formula and is asking for 10 times the cost of production. Hence, being a poor husband is unable to meet that price and asks for different friends to borrow some money or tries to convince the uh, druggist. However, both of the options fail and to save his wife's life, uh, Hens broke into the laboratory and steals the drug. Now, the question that Hens' dilemma poses to all of us is should Hens have broken into the laboratory to steal the drug not and why. Lawrence Kohlberg asked this question to many many people around the world and across a period of years. He discovered that people have had different reasons of responding to the same dilemma and based on those reasons he categorized his moral development stages into pre-conventional, conventional and post-conventional. We will talk about that in a minute. Okay, now let's talk about how these dilemmas work, whether it's hen's dilemma or the famous trolley problem that we encounter in our ethics class at college level. Usually the dilemma starts with giving you some options, of which may be two or more than two options. You can pick each of these options, but you cannot pick more than one option together, which makes it complex. Um, it's an either or kind of thing where there are conflicting values not just conflicting values, but powerful values being conflicted where you have to make that choice. And it doesn't seem any satisfactory way forward towards it. And which choices do you value over the other? It's the question that you have to solve in those ethical dilemmas. One clue, how do you pick up ethical dilemmas that are not genuine enough is there are some values that are already prioritized for you in response to the other. Let's say if you have a value choice between uh, breaking up a promise or um, saving someone's life. Most of us might go for saving someone's life. And this may not sound as an ethical, rational, moral reasoning dilemma for a classroom situations. Okay, now let's look at it. What are the ways in which we can respond or address some of this ethical dilemma or moral reasoning issues that are presented to us? Here are some of the suggestions. One way is to start by establishing facts. Usually there are very limited facts available to play with. So my first advice would be, let's start with what are the facts that are available in a particular situation. Once you have done that, think about what are the alternatives. Brainstorm as much as alternatives that you can on a piece of paper. So see that you have variants of options available. The third I would say is identify the moral underpinning principles that would help you to get through this dilemma. Whether it's about duty, is it about consequences, is it about rights, is it about divine command, what is it actually that is underpinning this, um, uh, this conflicting values and which one would sound uh, better to you in that sense. Right? The fourth is Prepare reasons for your preference. Because it's a moral reasoning exercise, the basis of it lies on this rationalism where you, you come up with some of core reasoning out there of your choice and it's supporting that in that sense. But while you are making those reasonings, I would recommend two things. One, think about the options where there's minimum suffering. Two, also think about how you are ensuring that everyone's rights are taken into account and are thought properly. In the next video we will talk about the limitations of moral dilemma. It can be cool to talk around that but is it the only way of talking about ethics and morality in 21st century? Let's see in the next video. Stay tuned with Canvas of Learning. Cheers.